Okay, for next question is given that a ship of mass 3 into 10 raised to the power 7 kg, so it's 3 into 10 raised to the power 7, and the mass of the ship is 3 into 10 raised to the power 7 kg is pulled by a force. So force is 5 into 10 raised to the power 4 newton, and the distance covered is 3 meter. So assuming that the resistance due to water is negligible, we have to calculate the speed of the ship. Now from the formula that is a Newton's second law of motion, let's calculate the acceleration that would be force divided by mass. Force is 5 into 10 raised to power 4 upon 3 into 10 raised to power 7. So that would give me 5 by 3 into 10 raised to power negative 3 meter per second square okay now the distance is given we have to find the speed of the ship so let's use the another equation of motion that is v squared minus u squared is equal to 2 a s okay so v squared minus u squared is equal to 2 a s we are using this because we have to find the final velocity and initially the ship it's at rest so we know the acceleration we know the distance we will calculate the v so it's v square minus zero square that is the initial velocity is zero and acceleration is five by three into ten raised power minus three and distance covered is three meters so three and three gets cancelled so v square is equal to five to the is ten into minus three so 10 into 10 raised power minus 3 is 10 raised power minus 2 that is equal to 1 by 100 we have to calculate v so v is equal to under root of 1 by 100 root of 1 is 1 root of 100 is 10 so that should be 0 0.1 meter per second should be the answer for the final speed of the ship let's move on to the next one thank you